Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Today I'm going to be going over uh, my December shop my stash. Uh, I will first go over the items from my November shop my stash that I'll be removing, kind of give you uh, my thoughts on them, how often I use them ish, and then I'll let you know what I will be pulling in for December. I'm not going to show you all of the items that were in my shop my stash for November because some of them are still staying in. If you want to see which ones are staying in, uh, you can check my last video. Um, also, if I kind of like pause and like look a little uncomfortable, that's because there are gardeners outside my window and I have my blinds open right now uh, to get some natural light to film. And um, I'm pretty sure they're just staring at me right now. Which is a little... Mm -hmm. I'd rather they didn't. Probably looking at me like I'm crazy, but also if you hear mowing in the background, I'm going to try to eliminate it as much as possible, but <sighs> they're probably going to, the, the noise is probably going to be going on pretty much all day, so I, I got to film what I can film, you know? Anyway, um, I will try to remember to link my last, my last shop, my stash down below. So if you want to see what items were in that and what items are staying in from last time, you can go check that out. But if I don't uh, remember to link it, it's just, it's the one of the last videos that I filmed. Probably shouldn't be too far back. Uh, take that back. It actually might be pretty far back because uh, I've filmed quite a few videos. Anyway, I'm going to get into the items I'm removing. So first I'm going to show you guys the eyeshadow palettes and... To be honest, I really didn't use these that much. Um, I didn't do my makeup as much in November as I did in October in previous months. Um, so when I did do my makeup, I was mostly using my Pan Those Eyeshadows. Uh, I have the Olimar uh, Spanglish palette. I didn't touch this at all, which I'm sad about oh, because it's beautiful. But yeah, I didn't reach into that one. And then the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. I only reached for um, the pressed glitter once and that was the only time I used this palette. So, but also I was testing out the um, the new Christmas palettes that I got. So that took up quite a few days of makeup wearing also. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not too upset about it, but that's why that happened. Uh, next is blush. So I'm rolling out the cream blush that I have and this was just one that uh, I made by myself. I did use this quite a few times and I do really uh, like it. It's really pretty. And then the Wet n Wild Rosé Champagne. Um, I think I probably wore this a few times also. And then I have a blush palette which is the Saharan Blush Volume 2. And I also use this one a few times. But again, I was also testing some blushes. So that took away a couple, probably like three of my makeup days with the blushes that I was testing. And then uh, for highlight, I have the Smoke and Mirrors Golden Sugar Palette. And... It looks like this. Um, I mostly used Summer and Daydream, which are the two lighter shades. Uh, I can use Golden Bronze in the summer, and I can use it in the fall and winter if I like mix it with one of the lighter shades, probably the lightest one. But I wasn't really using that one. I think I used it once uh, with by mixing. I really can't use Moonstone as a highlight. It just it's just way too dark for me. Um, I do like these highlights. I don't think they're like absolutely incredible amazing, but for $5, they're really good. They're, like I have no qualms with, why do I keep saying qualms today? I have no issues with the, um, the formula of these, other than I feel like they could be a little softer. 
um, but they blend really well on the skin. They look really smooth and shiny, um, so they're very nice, especially for $5. And then the other highlight I have in here is Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlight in Trophy Wife, if I could get it open, my goodness. Um, it's just a gold, like super sparkly highlight. Um, I think that this would work better for me in the summer. It's just not, I think I wore this once in November. It's just not, first of all, I'm not like a big gold person. My husband did pick this out. Um, but personally, I'm not really like a big gold person. Um, and it can definitely be sheared out to be a little bit more sparkly and less like gold gold. But I just think this will fare better for me in the summer. So moving on. The three lip products I had in here, I'll be moving out. I did use, uh, I'm gonna say I, I used all three, but I don't think I used the Black Moon uh, liquid lipstick and cider. If I did, it was only once. Uh, and then I used both of these a few times. This one is the e.l.f. What is it? Sheer Slick in Golden Pear. And then the ColourPop Hocus Pocus 2 lip gloss in Boys Will Love Me. The So so Glassy lip gloss is the, what this one's called. Okay, so that's everything that I'll be moving out. If you didn't see me mention anything that you saw me put in last month, then that stuff is still in. Um, so I'm going to go over all of the things that I'm bringing in for the month of December into my shop, my stash. Like, so this is going to be in my like everyday makeup drawer. It's a, <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot more than what I brought in for November. So where should I even start? I'll start with lip products. Um, I have four this time. So I've got the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Pearl. It's just a clear sparkly gloss. I love this formula. Um, and I think I'm probably about halfway done with this. So let's, I kind of want to see how far I can get. Um, and this is one of the products that I want to use up in 2023. So if I can get a head start on that, that'd be great. Uh, I've got the Kat Von D, well it's KBD now, but this was back when it was Kat Von D, uh, Liquid Lip in Santa, Santa Sangre, I don't know if I said that right, but it's red, and I figured for Christmas time, I gotta pull in a red, and I have the red from the Grinch and Makeup Revolution collection that I just reviewed, but I'm not a fan of that formula. If I'm gonna wear a bright color like red, I want it to like not go anywhere. So I pulled this one out. And then I have the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Sandstorm. And I pulled this out because it reminded me of like gingerbread. And I think that that will go well with a lot of looks. And then just for some festive little fun uh, Niss. I don't know what words I'm trying to go for there. This is the Lime Crime Diamond Crusher in Cleopatra and these are freaking beautiful. So you can wear these as like an opaque glitter lip. Um, oh, they're so shiny but um, and they dry down completely. I don't want to say matte because like they're still shiny. It's not really matte, but they dry down completely to where they don't really transfer. Um, or you can kind of take your finger and like pat it on top of another color just to make like it more sheer and make the other color more sparkly. Or you can do it on top of nude lips that way. Nude, bare lips is what I meant. Um, you can also use these as eyeshadow toppers. Just, just a little little thing to keep in mind so I pulled this color out because I think that it will be good for the festivity times I don't know 
let's see let's get these out of the way next I have two glitters one is a glitter liner and one is a glitter mascara slash uh, brow glitter and I love putting glitter in my brows so this one actually I was I feel like glitter brows is just like not a very mainstream thing so when I saw that uh, Wet n Wild had a product that was specifically marketed for like a glitter product specifically marketed for your brows I was just like wow that's incredible and I grabbed it and at the time I didn't have um, any more glitter for my brows but since then I've gotten some so I don't know it's fine it's silver I'll use it a lot probably um does it have a shade name no just glitter they only had one shade of this so and this is in the fantasy makers line and I think it came out for Halloween this year so there's that I'll be using that in my brows And then I have this one, which is um, Kamadu Cosmetics. It's a glitter liner. This one is number 16. This came in a set, of, like a whole bunch of colored liners. And I don't plan on using these as eyeliners, but I am going to be using them in my brows. So this is just a red. I was contemplating taking out uh, the green ones but neither of them was really like the tone that I wanted for Christmas one was a little I mean like I could use them like because they're gonna be like sparsed out on my brows it's not like the tone doesn't have to be perfect but I just a red and a silver just seemed like enough so that's that let's see I pulled one liquid eyeshadow and what shade is this in? I cannot even read that. Aurora. This is the e.l.f. What is it called? I don't think it has like a specific name. It's just the e.l.f. Um, liquid shadow in the shade Aurora. And it's like a foresty, like a dark foresty green kind of color. And I just thought that that would be nice for Christmas. So there's that. For, uh, let's do highlight next. For highlight, I grabbed my Grinch highlight in a Snarky. That's what it looks like. It's a very basic color, uh, but it is a nice highlighter. So I grabbed that. And then I have, I grabbed a lot of highlight. <laughs> and a lot of blush. Uh, the Kaleidos Moon Cruiser highlight and this is like a blue. It's like a sheer base with like a purpley blue shift and ugh, it's freaking perfect. It's gonna be so good for like wintry like blue wintry looks. Mm, yes. Uh, next I pulled out the Wet n Wild Loose Highlight in the shade Mary and let's see and it's kind of hard to show on camera because it's like a weird I swatched it in a weird place but um it's very nice it's it's not like it looks pretty much white in in the container but it's not it's really more of like I don't even know how to describe it it's v it's not quite white it's really m more of like a champagne -y kind of white like an off-white color but it's sparkly and beautiful I don't know how to describe it but it's beautiful <laughs> And then next I have a highlight palette. I have the BH Cosmetics Aspen palette. I guess technically it's Opre and Aspen. Um, but 
this is it it's super beautiful and I did double check that the white in here is different than um, the wet and wild loose one because this one is definitely more of like a stark white um, and the other one is definitely more of like a champagne -y kind of interestingness. <laughs> um, so this has lots of colors. Uh, perfect for winter, in my opinion. So there's that. And then I pulled lots of blushes. I did pull the um, Revolution um, and the Grinch blushes so the liquid blush right here and then the matching powder blush which I'm not sure how much I'm going to actually use this because if you watched my review video I did mention that this gets hard pan like essentially immediately it came with hard pan um but I found a color in the palette that I chose for this month that I think is going to be close enough um let me just check I think it's a this color is a little bit darker. This one's more like bubblegummy Pepto-Bismol pink. And the other one is just a little bit deeper. But I think I can still get it to work. So it's Sugarberry in the uh, Menagerie Cosmetics Arthrene blush palette. So this shade right here. It's definitely not as bright. But I think maybe that might be a good replacement for it. I'll have to test it out and see. If not, then I'm going to have to, you know, look and see if I can either get this one to stop getting hard pan or maybe be in the market for a, a dupe color. But yeah, this is the blush palette that I chose for this month. All the purples I think are going to be great for the winter. And then I have one more single blush, which is the Hard Candy Marbleized Baked Blush in the shade Girl Next Door. And it's this one right here. I just think it's really pretty. And it's like very like purpley pinky. It's right there. And it's very, very like glowy. And I just think it's beautiful. And I want to get some more use out of it. So that's that for blushes everything else is eyeshadow palettes and um I do have five of them so I have my two Grinch palettes I have the little fuzzy guy the nine pan palette here and then I have the larger one right here this is what he, what he looks like and those are the shades and if you want a little bit more in-depth look at these I did do a review video um, should be right before or right after this one uh, next I have my I'll do that one last I have my other two Christmas palettes from this year which are the Odin's Eye palettes so I have the Merry Christmas palette And, oh my goodness, it's so, like this palette just gives me all the warm fuzzies. It's perfect. It's perfect. I don't think that I could have made better Christmas palettes between the two of the Odin's Eye ones. Like I just, before the Odin, before Odin's Eye came out with their new Christmas palettes, I was on the hunt <clears throat> for Christmas themed palettes that were themed packaging but also themed color palettes because I feel like all of I have one other one but I wanted more than just that because it's only an eight pan and really only had doesn't have like a ton of color variation um I was I feel like most of the palettes that come out with Christmas packaging around Christmas time don't have Christmassy color stories and I want a Christmassy color story but I also want it to feel Christmassy so I want the packaging I want the whole thing I want the whole package you know what I mean 
and then Odin's Eye came out with these and I was like absolutely absolutely I bought both of them immediately like the second they launched I bought both of them so there's the Merry Christmas one and this is the Christmas Eve one which is a more cool tone like bluey purpley situation and again this is just a wintry snowy icy like a Christmas dream they're so incredible this shade down here gorgeous looks nothing like it looks in the pan like it looks like it looks purple like purple with a blue shift in the pan it is it is purpley with a blue shift but it is more it's the camera is just not gonna do it justice it's this right here the camera does not do it justice it has like blue green purple shift like it is incredible i don't know if they market that as a multi-chrome or as a duochrome, but in my opinion, it's a multi-chrome. It's absolutely incredible. The shimmers in these palettes are unreal. Unreal. I, ha I don't even have words. I love them so much. <laughs> and then these are like prized possessions of mine now. And they will be joining one of my other prize possessions, which is the Give Me Glow Christmas Morning Palette. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So I love this so much. This has just like the basic quintessential Christmas shades. You got your greens, you got your reds, you got your gingerbread -y colors, you've got like a cool toned gray, grayish brown, and then you have your silver. This silver is so unique though, it's not like a, this silver is so different than other silvers. I don't know how to describe it. It, it just has something to it that's not just like a plain basic silver. And I love that you have the shimmers that you know, complement the similar colored mattes. This is such a good palette. These shimmers are also absolutely incredible. They're a very flaky formula, so you kind of have to be careful with fallout a little bit, but if you're using a glitter glue, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, and they are just something else, just on another level of just, I'm going to swatch, um, Gifts Galore, and then I'm going to swatch uh, Santa's Sleigh, which is the silver for you guys, because Gifts Galore, I don't think you can really, like, let me see if I can make some room for these. There they are right there. That's Gifts Galore, and that's Santa's Sleigh. Again, the camera just is not doing these justice. Like, Gifts Galore is, like, the perfect, so you know, like, the blue-brown shades this is that like but elevated it has like a reddish it has a readiness readiness not like ready but ready like the color reddishness to the brown base and then it has like a greeniness to the blue shift this shade is done in so many palettes but not like this not like this I just can't say enough good things about this palette. It's so, so good. Um, they do still sell this one. So these ones I got at Target. You can probably still find them by the time this video goes up. Uh, unless, you know, people have snatched them up real fast. I don't know. Um, this, I believe, Give Me Glow still sells, but it is out of stock a lot. Um, and unfortunately the Odin's Eye ones you can't get anymore. They were an extremely limited release. Um, and I don't think that they plan on restocking them. So that does make me a little bit sad, but if you got your hands on them, then, then you know. So those are all the things that I'm pulling in. Uh, whew. Got shimmer all over me. Those are the things that I'm pulling in for my Shop My Stash for December. So it's a lot, but, uh... 
I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I love Christmas makeup so much. Um, also, what I'm wearing on my eyes is the um, the Grinch palettes, in case you are wondering. So that's it for this that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below um, what your favorite Christmas makeup is because I'd love to know. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.